Well, hello, Taurus. <laughs> Welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. And okay, Mouse has just left the room. So it's just me and the beautiful Jasmine. Yeah. What's she doing down there, Jazz? Huh? She's like, I'm napping, Heifer. What you think I'm doing? <laughs> I'm telling you, I, you know, I just know that's what she's thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a sunshiny day here in Georgia. Um, as you can tell, like the sun is definitely coming in through the windows today. So I don't even have my light kit on. Yeah. It's a good time. All right, Taurus. This is a reading for the week of January 16th. This is a general reading, Taurus, so if it resonates with you, that's great, and if it doesn't, that's okay, too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign, because sometimes you will resonate more with your moon or your rising sign versus your sun sign. It really depends on the placements in your chart. So, this is a busy week, Taurus, and let me tell you why. So, by the time you see this video, um pretty sure because I got to do all the editing. Um, by the time you see this video, Mars will have gone direct, goes direct on the 12th, on January 12th. On the 18th, yep, looking at my little notes here. On the 18th, Mercury goes direct. On the 22nd, Uranus goes direct. Busy week, right? I'm not done. So then we have a new moon in Aquarius on the 21st. <sighs> yeah. Then we have the Lunar New Year on the 22nd. So this is a busy week. Yes, it is, Taurus. And it's also like a bit of like a fresh start, a new beginning, because all the planets are going to be direct. So with all the planets being direct and with the Lunar New Year, I am doing a beginning spread. Now, this is something that one of my clients... Her name is also Jennifer. She sent me, uh, she took like a tarot class or something. And uh, so she got this beginning spread. Well, okay. On my little sticky notes here, y'all, like on my monitor, I have all these little sticky notes <laughs> that tells me like what I need to know, like Mercury, Mars, uh, Uranus, just so I don't get the dates mixed up. Like these are, this is all the stuff that I live with because you know. I am a good Virgo. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so she said it was either a new beginning spread or a good beginning spread. Or maybe she said it was just a beginning spread. But I wrote down all the other pertinent information. I may just have gotten the title wrong. Very excited about this, though, because I do feel like this is a fantastic beginning with the Lunar New Year kicking off and, you know, all the planets going direct. A great it's a great start this is what i'm excited yeah so um i'm going to be doing this spread but i'm also going to be pulling from the moonology deck um now the moonology deck and the crystal uh the crystal cards are the two decks that i routinely read from the book I'm an intuitive reader. This is just my process if you never read from the book or if you always read from the book it doesn't make any difference to me. I think it's great either way because how you read is very, very personal to you. And I think that you need to do that, like what works best for you so that you can get the message out, right? But I always read from the Moonology book and I always read from the Crystal book because there's just a ton of information in those books. And I think it would be a shame not to share it. So, but hey, you do what you got to do. Whether you always read from the book or you never read from the book. I don't want to put that back on the selenite because I just got the Taurus energy in it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pull from the top of this deck and see what it is for Taurus. What is that? New moon in Aries. Yeah, I didn't want to put my glasses on. Well, damn it. I'm going to have to read from this. Um, new moon in Aries is time to take action. Huh. Would have been really funny if it had been like a new moon in Taurus. But... Aries is really close though. Um, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Where's the new moon? Full moon, full moon, new moon. Capricorn, Scorpio. 
You probably don't need the running commentary, do you? Haha. <laughs> okay. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons, and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive t- sign. I like that. Superbly positive sign. If there's something you want to happen in your life, take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fire sign of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Trust people well as you charge towards your goals. Oh my gosh, this is, this is great. Trust people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Wow. Okay, to attune to the moon, don't even think about giving up. Do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan. Oh my gosh, this is right up a Taurus's alley. Make a plan. Yeah. Um, this is, I think this is just fantastic. I mean, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. Yeah. I and you know what? It's great because Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac. So after you get the idea, what do you do, Taurus? You make a freaking plan. So make a freaking plan. You've got the inspiration. Now do what a Taurus does best and make a plan. So let's see what you need to make a plan about. I, I'm just in a really good mood today. Sorry. Okay. Wow. Okay. There's some, this is some interesting stuff here, Taurus. Sorry. I want to see how you're seeing the cards. I'm looking up here at my monitor. Okay. Okay. The first card is, this is the king of pentacles, and this is what you really want. The second card is how you're going to clean your slate or purify your current circumstances to get what you really want. And this is the ace of pentacles. The third card is the, um, sorry, the two of wands. And the two of wands is what you'll need to do or what you need to bring with you or what you need to do. I think in this instance, it's something you need to do. Um, the fourth card is the Knight of Swords. This is the fastest moving energy in the core cards, by the way. And this is what your guidance is at this time. This is the fastest moving energy in the court cards. And if Jennifer had her way, I would be telling people this is the fastest moving energy in the tarot deck. But that's just one woman's opinion. So I'm going to let that lie for a minute. The first card, what you really want, the king of pentacles. What you're looking for is stability. And look at him. He is stable. He knows he's secure in his success. He's a very practical man. He's very ambitious. He's connected with, he's connected with wisdom. Look at all those books back there. He's connected with wisdom. He's connected with spirit. I choose to look at this as a spirit animal. Again, Jennifer's opinion, but I really do feel like that's the case here because you're connected with money. You're connected with knowledge and you're connected with spirit and it's helping you to feel secure in yourself. It's helping you to feel secure in who you are. That is a that's a Taurus energy right there if anything in the cards I would say that this is the perfect epitome of a Taurus feeling comfortable because this is how they want to feel is secure secure in their success practical ambitious they're going after it though right yeah so 
how are you going to clean the slate and get there? Well, let's just start over. Let's just till that garden up and plant some new seeds. And the thing is, that's exactly what you're doing. With the pinnacle energy, I will say this forever. The pinnacle energy is money, yes, but it's also your security. It's also like ties to your family, your home. It's your knowledge. It's anything that you hold dear. It's those things that are worthwhile to you that you hold dear. Um, and for some of us, that's a business. For some of us, that's a connection to our family, to our, to our animals, whatever. For a lot of us, it's our knowledge. Why? Because knowledge brings us that security. Knowledge that we have is what brings us income, right? That's what this is for you, Taurus. You need to clean the slate and see what it is that you have. You may have the same knowledge as 50 other people, but how are you using it? How are you using it? How are they using it? Are they, are they staying consistent with it? Because you're a Taurus. Consistent. So spirit is bringing you this. They're bringing you what you want. Now, don't be afraid to plant the seeds. They're giving you the seeds. You're the one that has to plant them. What? I know because I live with a Taurus. Mm -hmm. And he don't let me forget it either. <laughs> All right. The third card, what you need, what you'll need to do. This couldn't be more perfect. This card, the two of wands, is stepping outside of your comfort zone. She is looking at the choices that she has laid out before her. But the thing is, in order to embrace any of those choices, she's going to have to join the world right here. She's going to have to leave outside of her comfort zone and go get it. She's going to have to be outside of her comfort zone to do it. That is not easy for a Taurus energy. They're bringing you the seeds, though. You cannot plant them right in the old spot you've got to plant them outside of your comfort zone in the soil where the nutrients are step outside of your comfort zone taurus that's what you need to do you don't have to be a big step come on i'm not asking you to go jump off a ledge i'm actually just asking you to take one little step one little step forward see what happens <laughs> Because this does happen. This happens to a lot of people. I've seen this happen time and time again to close friends of mine where they're actually bringing in, they're manifesting what they really want, but it takes them outside of their comfort zone and they won't do it. They'll try it for a minute and then they'll get mad at it and say, no, I'm done with that. That was just, that was BS. That was crap. No. And they get mad at it. Don't be that Taurus. Don't be that, don't be that way, Taurus. You'd be better than that. And I'm saying that because what your guidance is right now is your spirit guides are asking you, they're asking you to move faster, not necessarily rushing it. Okay. I just want to point that out. This is the fastest moving energy in the court cards, maybe in the tarot, but I want you to see what he's doing. He's following his guidance. He is following the guidance that is being given to him. He's not running ahead of it. He's following it. He's not rushing it. He's following the guidance that is being given to him. He's listening to his spirit guides. And the thing is, he got to get on that motorcycle so that he can catch up to it. This may be asking you to move a little faster, not necessarily to rush it, because this card did say, don't rush it. But come on, Taurus, you and I both know some Aries people. All those fire people, do they sit around and wait for stuff to come to them? No. They make up their mind, and we all know them. Aries, Leo, Sag, we know those people. They don't sit back and say, oh, I'm going to think about that. That's a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Uh, no. They got their bags packed before Spirit finishes telling them what they're going to need. They're just like, yeah, all right, I'm on my way. Mm-hmm. I mean, <clears throat> I could call some of those fire people right now and be like, I got a problem at my house. And <clears throat> I hear their keys jangling 
as they're walking out to their car and they're like, what do I need? Do I need a fire extinguisher, a fire extinguisher, a shovel, or do we just need to like, uh, have a, a magic prayer circle? What do we need? <coughs> I love those fire people, but I mean, you know, that's what they are like, but they don't jump without a plan, but they move fast. They just don't rush it. And that's a good plan right there is not rush it, not get ahead of it, but follow spirit when it's taking you and get outside of your comfort zone. Oh, hello. All right. That's too many. Mm -mm -mm. I do think it's supposed to storm this week. I got to check. I guess I should be enjoying the sun. What you think, Jasmine? You put your radar on? She's like, that would require me waking up. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> okay. On the King of Pentacles, which is what you really want. We have the Oracle. Wait for important information. So if this is what you're wanting to feel, you're not staying stagnant here, Taurus. You're working through things, but you're also waiting for that key piece of information to come in to tell you, not that you feel this way, but this is how you need to travel to get there. This is where you need to go to get there. It's coming. It's coming because you're talking, you're talking, you're in communication with spirit. You're not ignoring things that are coming in for you or they'll start whacking you with like that spiritual two by four that I like to call it, you know, where they're like, wake up. I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah. On the Ace of Pentacles, how to clear, how to clear your energy so that you can get this, how to clean the slate so that you can get this, um, be fearless and stand strong. Oh my gosh, that's great because spirit is giving you these, uh, these wonderful things. Like you're asking for things and they're giving you the seeds to plant, to get it. <coughs> Excuse me, Taurus. This happened to me. Um. This actually happened to me this morning before I spilled my coffee on me and had to go change my clothes. So, yeah. Um, but um, I kept coughing and coughing. It's just dry. Sorry. Because <clears throat> um, I've had the heat on and but I have heard it's supposed to rain. So, we'll see. Um, but they're giving you the seeds to plant to make things happen for yourself. You have to be fearless when you're planning them. You have to stand strong and not be like, okay, okay, are you sure? Ooh. Do it. Get out there. When Once you plant those seeds and you start nurturing them, you're going to be surprised at how quickly it grows, Taurus, because spirit is helping you with that. They gave you this to help see what you can do with it, and then they're going to make it grow bigger. Some of this is up to you. Manifesting goes both ways. Okay. The two of wands. The two of wands energy. Um, the uh, What you need to do. So stepping outside of your comfort zone is scary as hell, right? I know. It's scary for me. I never, ever, ever in a million years thought that I would be doing a show by myself. That was never the plan. I always have partners. But even though I never thought that I would be working by myself, Spirit had another plan for me. So now, not only am I working by myself on a show, I'm working by myself on a channel. Yeah. My other channel is one that I had collaborations with. This one, strangely enough, is by myself. So in order to do that, I had to step outside of my comfort zone. Here's the thing, and this is what I love about this. The broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. 
Fear is understandable. It's rational. Camping out in that fear is irrational. So if you want to continue down that road, if you want to continue going forward with your dreams and planting the seeds that Spirit is giving you, Taurus, <coughs> then embrace the energy of peace and just go, I'm moving forward with this. I'm going to do this as peacefully as I can, whether I'm afraid of it or whether, you know, I'm excited about it or whatever. However, I feel about this. I'm going to embrace this energy of peace <clears throat> and that'll get you there because you take peace with you on this trip outside of your comfort zone. You'll be all right. <laughs> I'm saying that from somebody who's done it. Okay. I'm not asking you to do anything. I haven't done Taurus. <clears throat> okay. On the Knight of swords energy, we have the air guardian shift your perspective. Again, so perfect because look at her. First of all, she has wings. Air guardian makes sense, right? <clears throat> Don't get ahead of what you're chasing, right? And you're not even chasing it. You're not even chasing it. So let's, let's erase that. <clears throat> Excuse me, Taurus. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> you're not even chasing it. You're following you're following where spirit is leading you you're not chasing your dream you're following where spirit is leading you you're going after it at the pace that they set for you shift your perspective on that instead of saying um you know i'm chasing something or i'm you know i have to move faster or i have to move slower or whatever you say to yourself i am following the pace that spirit is setting for me. Whether that's to move faster or slower, I don't know. But judging from the Tauruses that I know, you may have to pick it up a little bit. But the thing is, you're shifting your perspective and saying, this is where spirit is leading me. I'm not, I'm not running this show. I mean, you have free will. You don't have to. But it's, it's taking you down a street. It's taking you down a path on a journey even some might say fantastic oh my gosh i'm so sorry mouse you scared me come here baby come here no 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 no. it's all right look it's okay look i know see you just scared me a little bit <laughs> oh, it's all right it's all right oh my gosh and i scared the cat We just, uh, we're just over here scaring each other. Like, let me clear those cards out one more time. All right, let's get some advice cards for you here, Taurus. I got so into the reading, I didn't even see, I didn't even hear a mouse jump in here. It just scared me. Oh my gosh, I just realized one of my Taurus friends is going to laugh her ass off at this. My cats are always scaring her. Well, one of my cats is always scaring her. What's he doing sneaking up on me? <laughs> He's like nothing. I just came in here for a snack. Oh, the frog. Cleansing information, Taurus. Cloak of wisdom. I'm telling you, there's something good going on here. What do you think, Mouse? Hmm. 
He's like, I think it's funny that I scared you. <laughs> Ginger. <clears throat> okay. Um, I have glasses. Hey, I cleaned off the printer for you. He likes laying on the printer. Okay, so the first advice card of the week is frog cleansing information. Frog sings to bring rain for the earth and tears to cleanse the soul. It celebrates metamorphosis, abundance, and healing through refreshing purification to find inner peace and joy. <clears throat> It bridges the magical place between the water and the land and uses sound as a medium to bring in healing and growth. Sounds like somebody needs to be singing and dancing. You know, Adele, Beyonce, whatever, your choice. Lenny Kravitz, I'm just saying. <clears throat> I'm like touching on all of the things that, of the people that I know, like Taurus wise, like what they like to listen to. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this because I will butcher it and he looks like a handsome fella. So, um, the cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Oh my gosh. So, I guess I'll try to pronounce his name then. Kuthmi. I gave it a shot, but he's a handsome fella. All right. <clears throat> ginger is your advice card from the essential oils. The emotional aspects of ginger. It releases humiliation, powerlessness, victim mentality, and blame. It instills accountability, empowerment, and fortitude. It creates a sense of empowerment to create new choices, a new path, and releasing the destruction of the path. Oh, I'm mean, of the past. This is so great. This is so great. I got excited and I missed that last. So I'll repeat that last one. And releasing the destruction of the past. Oh my gosh, it's so great. The centering thought. I have the ability to create change within myself and my life. I am empowered. I am capable. And the affirmation, why do I feel so empowered to live the life I desire? And the chakras are the solar plexus and the root. And you know, the solar plexus, one of my favorites, <clears throat> is um, personal power and inner strength. This is so great. This is awesome. This is so awesome. I, I absolutely love this for you. Taurus <clears throat> and I think I think this is going to be a great this is going to be a great little time for you so are you ready are you ready to go where you're being led inquiring minds want to know thank you so much for joining me today Taurus thank you so much for um, laughing at me when mouse jumped out at me I know that's humorous <laughs> Um, make sure you check out your monthly numerology and hopefully by the time this comes out, I will have finished the edits on, um, your Chinese sign and, uh, you will be able to take a look at that before we hit the lunar new year. Mm, I know I'm a rat. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And until I see you again, Taurus, get out there and make your magic. Bye. <laughs>